Korean leaders announced the start of an era of no war, concluding their formal talks in Pyongyang on Wednesday, September 19th. Dear respected comrade Kim Jong Un and His Excellency Moon Jae-in signed a fruitful agreement to promote harmony. In a press conference, President Moon said, "The era of no war has started." According to the agreement, a main missile facility in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea will be permanently closed down in the presence of foreign experts, and a key nuclear complex there could possibly be dismantled. President Moon further expressed hope that dialogue would resume between Pyongyang and the United States. In a separate military agreement signed by the Korean defense ministers, a range of unity-building measures were detailed, ultimately transforming the heavily militarized border into a true peace zone. Also revealed were plans to link specific railways and roads, and to seek to co-host the 2032 Summer Olympics. Furthermore, Chairman Kim spoke of visiting Seoul in the near future for a fourth summit. The Korean leaders later attended an artistic festival in Pyongyang, where President Moon delivered a speech to the 150,000-member audience. 평양 시민 여러분, 사랑하는 동포 여러분, 오늘 김정은 위원장과 나는 한반도에서 전쟁의 공포와 무력 충돌의 위험을 완전히 제거하기 위한 조치들을 구체적으로 합의했습니다. 또한 또한 백두에서 한라까지 아름다운 우리 강산을 영구히 핵무기와 핵 위협이 없는 평화의 터전으로 만들어 후손들에게 물려주자고 확약했습니다. 평양 시민 여러분, 동포 여러분, 우리 민족은 우수합니다. 우리 민족은 강인합니다. 우리 민족은 평화를 사랑합니다. 그리고 우리 민족은 함께 살아야 합니다. 우리 함께 새로운 미래로 나아갑시다. We are gladdened and encouraged by this memorable and constructive visit, Your Excellency Moon Jae-in and dear respected comrade Kim Jong-un. Our respectful gratitude, Korean leaders and all summit participants for this diplomatic progress. We pray that your noble vows for a peaceful united Korea will soon materialize in the continued grace of the providence. Former President of Chile appointed United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights. The Secretary General of the United Nations, His Excellency Antonio Guterres, has appointed Her Excellency Dr. Michelle Bachelet as the next High Commissioner of Human Rights following the unanimous approval from the 193 member nations. A globally respected human rights advocate, Her Excellency has already served the United Nations as the first executive director of the Entity for Gender Equality and the Empowerment of Women from 2010 to 2013. Commenting on Dr. Bachelet's latest appointment, United States-based NGO Human Rights Watch Executive Director Kenneth Roth said she brings a unique perspective to the role on the importance of a vigorous defense of human rights. People worldwide will depend on her to be a public and forceful champion, especially where offenders are powerful. Our applause and respectful congratulations, Your Excellency Dr. Michelle Bachelet, on your important new position. May God continue to bless you with wisdom and compassion as you fulfill the noble duties of your new role. Chinese Tobacco Control Department calls for regulating e-cigarettes. Chinese tobacco regulators are calling for e-cigarette smoking to be banned in public spaces the same as normal cigarettes. The e-cigarettes, which usually contain nicotine, currently do not fall under the same category as cigarettes, but experts say they are still harmful. 
Awareness was raised after a life-threatening incident involving a pilot of an aeroplane who was using an e-cigarette which caused a loss of cabin pressure in the plane. There's also been debate on social media regarding a passenger on the Beijing subway who was using an e-cigarette. Encouraging news, China. Our accolades for your forward-thinking ideals and putting your citizens' well-being first. May your country quickly move to implement the laws required to help contribute to cleaner air and better health for all your people. Tunisia allows boat with 40 migrants to dock. A ship named the Saras 5, which had been waiting off the Libyan coast for clearance to dock with 40 African migrants, including five women aboard, has been granted approval. The Prime Minister of Tunisia, His Excellency Youssef Shahed, said, for humanitarian reasons, we will accept the 40 migrants. We send a warm hug of appreciation, Your Excellency Yusuf Shehad and Tunisia, for welcoming brothers and sisters in their time of need. May the world soon find complete peace and may all people feel secure and safe wherever they reside. Nonprofit builds homes for disadvantaged in Delhi, India. Indian-born American Rob Morena, philanthropist and founder of the non-profit Rob Morena Foundation, RRF, recently announced the laying of foundations for 300 new homes for the underprivileged in the Bhavana area of Delhi. Mr. Reina established RRF in 2003 with the goal of providing basic necessities as well as building 6,000 homes for the less fortunate in India. RRF also recently distributed more than 25,000 items such as umbrellas and raincoats to the less fortunate to help them during the rainy season. At a ceremony in Delhi marking the beginning of the construction of the new homes, Mr. Reina said, we have been involved in providing shelter to the homeless and the construction of these houses is the next step in our mission of eradicating homelessness in Delhi, National Capital Region, NCR. In reflecting on his life's journey on the RRF website, Mr. Reina shared, the rewards of giving go far beyond money and material things. Giving is something you will be able to take with you wherever you go for the rest of your life. Robin Reina, we are deeply touched by your kind-hearted nature and loving projects to assist those in need. May bright futures in a caring world await all of heaven's special children. Young gardeners in Australia take part in community vegetable growing program started by restaurant owner Mark Kingwig. The Blackboard Power Plant Community Gardening Project on the Gold Coast of Queensland, Australia is designed for youngsters. It involves giving complimentary seeds, soil and pots, all donated by local businesses to children to take home. The budding gardeners grow plants such as carrots, tomatoes and zucchini and then have the option of donating their harvest to a homeless charity or selling it back to Mr. Kingwick's restaurant. Speaking of the exciting initiative, Mr. Kingwick said they have grown something which is an amazing feeling when that first tomato pops out or that broccoli comes out of the ground. A big green salute, Mark Kingwig, donating businesses and young gardeners. We wish you much fun and success as you participate in this fantastic earth-loving activity. May more children have the opportunity to grow their own food at a young age. Festival Against Animal Festivals hosted in Seoul, Korea. The non-governmental organization, the Biodiversity Foundation, and the non-profit Beautiful Coffee, both of Seoul, Korea, along with animal welfare group, Sea Shepherd, Korea, organized the first festival to draw attention to cruel animal festivals that take place in different parts of the world. Around 500 people attended the event, which included informative classes, music, games, and skits. <laughs> 그리고 인간과 동물의 생존권과 행복을 누릴 권리 모두를 존중하는 그런 진정한 동물 축제를 실천할 때가 왔습니다. 사람들이 축제를 하는데 한쪽에서 고통이 일어난다는 걸 모르고 있어서 안 되겠다. 그래서 저희가 맞불 축제, 동물 축제 반대 축제, 짧게 말해서 동축 반축을 기획하게 됐습니다. 여러 가지 프로그램들 마련해서 그렇게 동물을 이용하고 학대하는 축제가 아니라 동물과 정말로 같이 행복할 수 있는 축제가 가능함을 대한 축제로서 보여주고 싶었습니다. 네. 어, 대체적으로 굉장히 평화롭고 동물들도 자유롭게 돌아다니고 그래서 
이렇게 착취하지 않고 혐오하지 않고 이렇게 평화롭게 축제를 즐길 수 있는데 굳이 동물을 죽여서 축제를 하는 사람들이 굉장히 어, 아쉽게 느껴지고 지금 분위기가 굉장히 좋아서 굉장히 재밌게 즐기고 있습니다. 제가 그동안은 그냥 동물 축제 그러면 은 언제 한번 꼭 가봐야 되겠다. 뭐 고래 축제 같으면 은 고래 축제 가서 고래 고기나 좀 많고 먹어보자 이런 생각을 하고 있었는데 어, 이 축제의 취지를 알고 나서부터 이제 그 자신이 좀 부끄러웠습니다. 나는 동물을 희생을 담보로 한 그런 축제를 그냥 뭐 용인하고 있었구나. 아무튼은 좀 동물의 인권, 동물의 그 권리에도 좀 관심을 가져야겠다 생각했습니다. Our heads of all involved in the first festival against animal festivals. Thank you for providing a shining and loving example for the world to follow. Germany, top nation for new vegan products. London-based market research company Mintel reported that Germany was the leading country globally for debuting new vegan products, responsible for 15% of all plant-based food and beverages launched worldwide between July 2017 and June 2018. The United Kingdom followed with 14% and the United States came in third with 12%. Furthermore, there's been a 240% increase in the number of new plant-based items released in Germany between July 2013 and June 2018. Catcher Witham, senior food and drinks analyst at Mintel stated, the rapid growth of vegan products in Germany also reflects the rise of ethical consumerism, especially among younger consumers. Bravo Germany for your discerning choices. May the benevolent citizens of your nation continue to enjoy a wide array of delectable plant-based offerings while embracing the diet of kindness.